What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Alrighty, so as you can see, we're, we're the champs still. Um, we won our seventh badge in our last episode, and uh, now we gotta heal up our Pokemon because, uh, believe it or not, we still have to continue that whole Team Galactic thing, yeah. You know, from a few episodes back. Yeah. And Maylene's like, oh, you defeated Candace. Now you're allowed to use the rock climb, uh, the, the, the hidden machine rock climb. And, uh, well, yeah, that's what, exactly what we're going to be doing because that's the only piece of the puzzle that we need. Okay. Alrighty. So what's next? What's next? Okay. So before we do anything, I got to... I gotta take a few items out of out of the way, teach Pokemon a few moves here and there, and then, uh, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, just, whatever, I just gotta teach Pokemon moves and whatnot, I don't even know. I really don't know, guys, I'm just like, whatever. Happy Wednesday to every single one of you guys out there in YouTube land, watching my videos. I'm glad that you enjoyed the last episode of Pokemon Platinum. Trust me, guys, it's gonna get better and better. Only three episodes this week, though. And so, here we go. We're going to go to the Acuity Lakefront, because apparently uh, Team Galactic's got some uh, issues with the, the, the Emotion Pokemon. And before I do anything, I'm going to use you a Repel, because I don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon around here. And, uh, well, let's see. You see that? The snow? Ugh, God, it just it just bugs me. It's kind of like the Marsh Pits. And so, here we you We're using Rock Climb, and uh, now we can get up to these hills... And we find ourselves a Reaper Cloth, which is always good. And that is actually that can actually be used for to evolve a Dusclops. Yes. And uh, if you may have remember, we found Barry right around here. Now I'm gonna check for any items. Yeah, there's no items around here. And uh, okay, so as you can see, <laughs> you're not getting away from this. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. You tell her, Jupiter. You tell her. And, oh, you even... <laughs> As you can see, she's uh, recognizing us. She just beat... She just beat Barry. <laughs> uh, oh, does that make me evil for liking this? Ah, uh, no. And <laughs> she's like, yeah, that's right. Couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. <laughs> Suck it, Gary. Or Blue Barry. Oh, man. And uh, the Pokemon called Uxie is suffering. I'm gonna get tougher. I'm gonna, yeah, not good enough. I just have to get stronger. <laughs> yeah, if you want to be the most powerful trainer, you're gonna get passed through me. Uh, <laughs> but I'm actually enjoying this. I'm, I really am, guys. You don't know how much I don't like Barry. I, I really don't. One of the most annoying friends slash rivals ever in a, in a Pokemon series, really. Okay, so we got nothing else to do right here. Uh, that's all we needed to do. Just come in here and uh, check out, uh, check Barry, check on Barry. You know, getting his ass kicked and all that stuff. Now we have to go to Vilestone City because we got some stuff right here. This is where all of uh, Team Plasma or no, no, Team Galactic's events are happening. And before we do that, we need right rock climb right here because I remember there was an item, and uh, we found ourselves a full incense. You can actually use that on a... Yeah, you can actually use that on a Snorlax to actually breed. To, to, to make it lay an egg, you know. Munchlax and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, let's see. This guy's talking. And, hey, it's you. I bet you remember me. I sure remember you. Go Fairy. He called it quits. He's going back to uh, the old country. And he's talking to us about a storage key. And... Oh crud, it's Looker. And he's like, you'll have to leave this to me. The storage key is in the hideout, frontal assault. Yes. We gotta go to the warehouse in order to uh, find that where key or warehouse key. And uh Okay, so this is not the warehouse. I I remember now. Is it? No, it's not. Of course. Yeah, we can't go through there yet. So we're gonna have to go through the warehouse and uh this is me just trying to figure out where the hell is the warehouse? It's the same area. And, uh, yeah, we, I, I don't want to join any of these criminal gangs. You know, if I was a criminal gang leader, I would actually have my subordinates have different types of Pokemon. You know, a nice variety of Pokemon. And you know what? Evolved forms. Makes them a lot tougher. That's how you get shit done. Really. And that's all there is to it. And, uh, they won't listen. And, uh, <laughs> homeboys are like, Draven, very well. Inside the galactic or galactic warehouse, we'll go. 
Okay. So we gotta get to the warehouse. You guys remember that place where we uh, saved our girlfriend and her Pokédex and all that crud? Alrighty, so we're gonna go and do that. And uh, here's the warehouse. And uh, as you can see, Looker's like, Oh, I'm glad that you've been waiting. And he has a storage key and it opens. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go inside and just uh, take on a whole bunch of uh, Team Galactic members. And here we found ourselves a Dust Stone, which, you know, it could have been used to evolve. It could be used to evolve, uh, you know. That Pokemon that I have, what was it? No, it's not the Pokemon that I have. Mm -mm. What was it? Oh yes, Murkrow. I think so, yes. Anywho, let's do this. Alrighty, so, who's next? Going up against Galactic Grunt, and he's coming out with his Golbat. Here comes Toothless, ready to kick some ass. So right here, they got no chance because Toothless is a strong-ass Pokemon. So let's go with the Dragon Claw. Will it win? It can win, because it's Toothless. It's the most powerful Pokemon ever. And, uh, well, there's that Confuse Ray. Yeah, you gotta love that one, because, uh, of course, who doesn't love Confusion? Well, Team Galactic does. And, uh, well, hurting myself with Confusion, that's always fun. And, uh, oh, crud. Alrighty, and uh, let's see, okay, come on, hit him, you gotta hit him, there we go, Dragon Claw, for the win, and uh, well, there's no more Golbat right there, and uh, alrighty, and Donatello grows to level 44, which is always good, and yeah, burns him up inside, <laughs> take, learn to take an L, man, seriously, learn how to take an L, and uh, who is next right here? Nothing, and here we found ourselves a Zinc. Yeah, very good for our Pokemon stats. Should always be good. And uh, let's see, there's another Pokemon trainer there. So I'm gonna spread the love around and uh, switch it to Gaia number two. And uh, here we go. Oh, Charon. Character in place. Charon. It's a cool name to say. Charon. So here we go with another Team Galactic Grunt, and he's coming out with a hand hour. So let's uh, let's go ahead and destroy this guy. Drain Punch, right? Drain Punch will do it. Oh yeah. And uh, well, Hound Hour has been eliminated that quickly. Okay, having it easy right now. And look at that! Finally, welcome to the level 40 club. Took you a while. And he's going to be coming out with a Murkrow. So, I got to switch it up here. And, uh, let's see. I'm going to go with this guy. I'm going to go with Toothless. Because I can. Because it's awesome. It's an awesome Pokemon right here. And Murkrow looking like, uh, you know. You know, a crow and all that stuff. And with its beady eyes looking at me. Eh, yeah. And there we go. Dragon Claw. Nearly makes him be... Nearly makes him win, and there's a taunt, so I think we won't be able to use the new, the next move, right? Yeah, we're gonna use strength right here, and uh, alrighty, and say goodbye to Murkrow. Okay, so we're having fun, everything's going well, and uh, alrighty, he's telling me don't get cocky with it. Look, I'm getting cocky right now, just because I'm beating you guys. Alrighty, so who is next? I don't know. We'll find out. And uh, th this guy might have a Pokemon right here. So I'm going to switch it out. Gary, there we go again. We're going to be uh, spreading the love. And uh, he doesn't even have... <laughs> he doesn't even have Pokemon. He's the gruntiest of the grunts. So he's telling us about the whole uh, warp panels that we have to use in order to go around here. And, uh, well, let's see. Another Pokemon battle. Because we can. Because it's always fun. And here he comes out with a glum meow, a glam meow, and well, this should be easy because my emo birdie Pokemon will be able to destroy this with just one hit. Close combat. Oh yes. There we go. And will it go away? Will it be fainted? Yes, sir, it does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. And uh, well, let's see. That's another po that's another Pokemon down right there. Okay, so 
that's a victory for us right there guys say hello to my other friends right here now I'm gonna go to the left side right here see if it takes me anywhere and it does it takes me somewhere I, and uh, okay so that's an entrance right here and I guess we're gonna be I think we're close to the command chamber not the command chamber but the main area where we're gonna actually find some of the head uh, team galactic people and here we have another battle it's nothing but battles here guys trust me nothing but friggin battles and uh, remember how I said team galactic or if I had a if I had my own Pokemon gang that I would have all my Pokemon subordinates use different types of Pokemon yeah this is the reason guys main reason and Glammeow get your butt kicked Starblade of course don't worry don't worry you'll get those uh you'll get whatever you'll get your you'll get your stats back so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch it out don't want to risk my Pokemon getting beat just like that off of one hit and uh, here comes Murkrow and uh, alrighty okay just bring it let's go with the nice thing because it's more accurate and uh, there we go that Murkrow had no chance whatsoever he had no chance and there we go more experience points for all our Pokemon right there and he's gonna be coming out with a Krogonk so huh let's see let's go with Donatello no I'm gonna go <laughs> with guy number two again I'm not I this is not a live call it really isn't and uh, well just bring it bring it Krogonk alrighty where are we and uh, well there's that sucker punch and uh, well psychic attack will it do it for us yes it does suck it Krogonk oh yeah alright so that's another Pokemon trainer done right there so who is next who's next on the list right here okay I could go into this warp panel right here and see if I can find any cool items and uh, well I think Oh crap, okay, so... No, it just leads us to another Pokemon battle, God! State of the art HQ, and uh... Well, that's always good right there. So, here we go with another scientist. His name is Frederick. The most fanciest of names, and he has himself a Curlia. And uh, well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens right here. I'm giving it the cockeyed look. And uh... <laughs> Of course, like a scientist, he wants to be all strategic and stuff. But it's not gonna help him out because Starblade going with the fly attack. And come on, finish him off. And that's how you do it. Mm hmm. No more Curlia. And he's gonna be coming out with a cadaver right here. So, hmm. Let's see, I could go with the physical attack on that because they are like paper plates. It just takes one hit to destroy them. Because physically, they suck. Specifically, they're good. And, uh, well, let's go with that faint attack. Oh, yes. Try and find me right now. Oh, yeah. And there goes Kadabra. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. And Fedrick is not, not, not too happy. He's like, your Pokemon weren't part of the calculations, which is good. Alright, I see there's an item right there. Grab that. We found ourselves a dubious disc, which is also a an item that you can actually use to evolve a Porygon, or Porygon too. And uh, okay, we've already been here before. I'm gonna save this place for last. And then uh, again, there's some items right here that we can actually get. I think there, I think you can actually find a Master Ball right here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I'm gonna be corrected in a little bit. So let's see. I'm gonna go upstairs. And uh, will this guy battle me? Nope. He is the gruntiest of the grunts. And that guy is not. You're too young to understand, and uh, they're trying to develop a future for Team Galactic. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm going to uh, just. I'm just going to beat the uh, answers out of you. That's all I want to do is just beat the answers out of you. Alrighty. So, let's see. Let's see. Close combat? Will that work? And, uh, let's see, let's see. Go, 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 go. And it does. Alrighty. 
<laughs> Alrighty. That's how you do it. Alright. And, uh... Well, no more Team Galactic Grunt. And, uh... Let's see. I'm still trying to find some, like, rare items. Ex ex the only thing is that we found a dubious disc. And this guy right here, I could have just avoided him. But no. I just, you know, uh, me being me. I want to pick a fight with anybody. Oh, well. Let's go. Coming out with the Murkrow, I'm going to go with Starblade. And uh, I'm going to intimidate the crud out of you. Mm-hmm. You have no chance. No chance. That's what it is. And here we go. Fly attack. And that taunt attack won't do anything. So here we go. Fly attack for the win. Come on. Come on. That's how you do it. Alrighty, okay, alright, alright, okay, and then, uh, oh, you're gonna be coming out with a stunky, okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, who's next, uh, well, I'm just gonna stay with Starblade right here, because I really don't want to use any other Pokemon, so let's go with stunky, and I'm gonna go with, let's see, close combat, you know, close combat with anybody, should be easy, and, uh, there goes, that's Stunky, and it's out for the count. Hell yeah! Man, Stunkies are always, like, they're always difficult on me, just because I don't really know it's typing until the last minute right there. So that's another victory for us right there, and now we're going to have to be, uh... Okay, I think we don't have the storage key. Do we have it, or do we not? I believe Looker had it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retrace my steps because there wasn't there was a war panel that I did not go to. And yeah, I think I think that will actually let us have the the item that we need right here. So we're gonna have to go back down right here. And uh Oh, okay, so there's the item that we need, right? No, it's the TM36 sludge the sludge bomb. Very good move. And uh Okay, there it is, the Galactic Key. Alright, so that will actually enable us to go through everything, and uh, this guy will not battle us. Saying that Master Cyrus has a speech coming out, and uh, what it, where has it, yeah, where has everybody, has, he's asking where has everybody gone to. And, uh, well, that's open right there. Now I'm going to go retrace my steps all the way back to the other area. And, uh, well, let's see how, let's see how everything works out right here. I mean, I'm still betting that there was a there's a there's a cool item around here somewhere. So let's see, gonna go here, right here, and uh, let's oh there's an item right there. So I'm gonna go into this uh, or this warp panel and grab this one. Find ourselves a TM49, also very very good. And uh, going back, and uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see. There was one more place that I did not go to, and that was that area where there was a door. Hence the whole, you know, Galactic Key stuff. So, I'm going to go back on a shortcut. Although, you know, I'm, I'm probably not working... I'm probably not working smarter. I'm probably working harder. It's that whole deal right there. And, uh... Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go, like, right here. Anywho... Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be facing Team Galactic. See you guys.